Good day everybody, I'm Jeremy and today we're going to talk about what you want to get for your DSLR for basically your second lens. Now it's Christmas time, a lot of people have gotten a DSLR camera for their present and they have the standard 18 to whatever style lens on there. Uh, what would you be after, what would you be looking for? Well I'm going to help you out with that. Usually you want something that you can play around with and a good lens to start with I think for any of the cameras whether it's 35 millimeter or the uh, DX cameras. The DX cameras, they will act a little differently. On Nikon, the crop factor is going to be 1.5, so some of your full frame lenses, they will fit on that camera, but you'll have to times that focal length by 1.5 for Nikons. And for me, my second lens, what I liked was I wanted something that I could do some portraits with. So that 50 millimeter lens on a Nikon DX camera worked out to be roughly 72 millimeters. And what I loved about this lens was the fact that uh, when you open it right up to 1.8, you can get some really amazing pictures. You can blur out that background, you make your subject pop right in the picture there, you have super tack sharp pictures. So this is the lens that I went with and it's really neat. A lot of people refer to it as the nifty 50. Uh, that, that's true for like a full frame camera. So like your bigger Nikon cameras, the full frame ones, that'll work like that. Um, on, on the DX cameras though, this makes for a perfect, perfect uh, portrait lens. And you'll see later on in the video, I've taken some photos, check them out. It's near the end, I think they're, I think they're just amazing. The pictures that you'll capture with this are absolutely stunning when you blur out the background and you have your focus on the subject's eyes, you will end up with portraits that you'll want to hang up all over the place. Absolutely amazing. That's what I use this lens for like all the time is Fantastic. Some of the other features of this lens here is the silent wave motor. Uh, this lens has the motor of it right in the actual lens as opposed to some of the older Nikons where they used a screw. And uh, with that, it's super, super silent. You barely hear this thing uh, focusing in. It, it's really awesome that way. Also, we have on here, we have manual auto. So you have the manual override on the autofocus or you can switch over and go straight to manual where you only focus with this. This is in a spherical style lens and this lens here has a super integrated coating. That's Nikon's fancy term for fully multi-coated optic and what that essentially breaks down to is better superior light transmission through the lens to the camera sensor. This lens will get, go for around about $270 um, if you're lucky you look around you can find them for about 200 I think back in 2011 I paid about 230 bucks for this lens brand new at uh, Henry's photo so your lens will come in a box like this uh, it'll have some packaging inside you'll also note on the box that Nikon has a, a five-year warranty on it I think they still do I'm not fully sure on that um, it just goes around to say that it's a uh, autofocus system silent it's an i 50 millimeter f 1.8 G lens and then it, on here, it gives you, it tells you what it has. So it has a 58 millimeter uh, filter size on it. It's a little bigger than the standard ones used to be. It has, it's supplied with a hood. So you get the lens hood right there, a lens hood. And also comes with a nice little case. So you can put your lens in there and it'll be safe inside of your carrying bag. It doesn't get all dirt and everything else. Okay, so my final thoughts on this lens. If you're looking for a second lens to add to your, your kit, go with a 50 millimeter, especially if you have a DX Nikon camera. This will give you amazing portraits. You'll have a lot of fun with it, especially if you have little kids around or even if you just like doing portraits of, of uh, models and stuff like that, this lens will really work for you. Um, one thing that I did add to it and I add to all my lenses is a UV filter on the front, just a clear filter with no uh, polarization or uh, ND style filter. It's just, it's clear and it protects the lens. So the glass is always protected. If something's going to get scratched, it'll get scratched on here or get dinged. I can throw the filter away for, you know, 30 bucks, 40, 50 bucks and slap a new one on there. You're ready to go and your lens is safe. One other thing that I'll speak to this lens, this is a tough lens. I know they have a five year warranty. I had this thing on a workbench, about four feet off the ground, rolled off, hit the floor, picked it up. I've never had any issues with it. Still going, nothing cracked, nothing broke. Whether I got lucky, I don't know. That just goes to speak to Nikon's quality. Definitely an awesome lens. Go try it out.